Welcome to another video editing tutorial using the free software Caden Live. In this video, we're going to be creating a picture slideshow. So we don't have to just use Caden Live for video editing. We can also bring in pictures and we can apply the same effects that we've been learning about and different options uh, to those pictures. We can add music uh, to be playing while the pictures are being displayed. So I'm just going to go to a few different places on my computer where I have some pictures. And I'll just left click and drag those into my project bin over here. And then we see, we can look at these different pictures and see which ones we want to add. Maybe I want to add this picture first. So I'll left click and drag it down to this video one track. And then for the next picture, I'll do this one of the guy falling. And for the last picture, I'll do the one of the little boy. So we drag and put them all in here. And now we have these different pictures. We can see, we can play. Uh, by default, these are going to be five seconds long each. I'll just resize the timeline here. Yeah, so by default, they're each five seconds long. And that might be a little bit long for me. Like if we click play, we can see it shows the picture for quite a while. And then it switches right to the next picture. But we can resize them. We can go down. We can actually just double click on the clip and it says duration five, five seconds. So we can change this and type in four or even three and hit OK. And it'll lo length, lower the length of, the, of that to three. So we can go to each of these clips and do that if we want. Go three, enter, double click, go to three, and then hit enter, or hit click the OK button. And now they're three seconds long each. We can drag them so they're close together. Otherwise, we get this black. If we didn't drag it close to each other, we'd get a black gap in between the pictures. So we drag them so that they just goes from one picture to the next. And then when we play, it just goes and transitions, just cuts over to the next picture. Another way that you can change the length of how long it's being displayed for is by hovering to the end of the video clip or the beginning of the picture clip, the whatever it is, and then you can drag it out and make it longer or shorter. And so whatever one's selected is the one that'll do. So we'll make the, all these a little bit shorter and that looks pretty good. So now our total video project is like, what, seven or eight seconds long, or not even, about five seconds long. So now it'll play all these clips within a period of five seconds, just very quickly playing through a couple different pictures. Um, yeah, that's that's the basic, that's basically it. Um, we could edit this picture. We see we have black bars on the right and left side of this picture. So we could edit this picture in like Photoshop or GIMP to make sure that it fits a, a 1920 by 1080, make sure it fits like a widescreen view. Same with these ones. These ones are actually even have a little bit of bars on the side of them because it's not exactly a full widescreen um, picture. But we can also edit it here in uh, Caden Live if we'd rather do that. So I'll show you like this one, for example. We just go to uh, Crop and Transform, and then we do this Edge Crop. So I'll left click and drag it over top of the picture, and we get these options over here in Properties come up. If these don't come up for you, sometimes they're, they're hiding within here. It's a separate tab, so we've got Effects, transitions and properties, but I have mine configured so that it's over here. And again, if you couldn't find the effects, that's where they were too. You were maybe looking at transitions and not effects. So always look, there's tabs under all these different things. There's all these tabs that can confuse you if, if, you don't, if you're not on the right tab. Anyway, so right now we have this clip selected, properties. We can just crop the sides. So we want to crop the, the right-hand side and the left-hand side. So we just go over to right and we crop in a little bit. And what that's doing is just kind of cutting in. Oh, I'm just I'm kidding actually. We we didn't want to do that. Because to to get rid of this black box, we actually need to crop the bottom and top. So and I'm I don't want to crop the top any because that'll cut into the face. So I'm just gonna crop the bottom. So by by cutting out the bottom of the picture, it actually gets rid of these black lines because it's making our picture more of the shape we want it to be. Does that make sense? So we cut out a bunch of the bottom and then it just kind of made this picture fill our full screen. A better example might be this one of the little boy. So let's come over here. And this one, I'll do a edge crop. We drag this over. And now this one we want, we, this one we do want to crop the, the left and the right, don't we? No, this is the same thing. We want to crop the top and the bottom because we want to cut off this much of the top and cut off this much of the bottom so that all we're viewing is just in on the face. So if we start, Cutting it right here, that's pretty good. That's about as far in, we wanna be about that far away from the chin. And then we go to the top and crop in a little bit more too. And then we get a nice shot just like this. 
That's pretty cool, huh? This is easier to do again in like GIMP or Photoshop, but you can. I just want to show that you can do it using this, uh, yeah, this edge crop. So now we see we have a nice picture. We didn't do the one of the following, so we still have the black bars on the side, but that's okay. And then we have a nice, this one looks a lot better than it did before. See before, if we turn off this effect, it was so far out and you couldn't really see. Now we can see a lot more detail. It just fills the whole screen. It just looks a lot better. Um, yeah, I think that's all I want to do in this video. Oh, let's add music real quick. So just for fun, we can go to our downloads. I should get some more music. I still have just this one kind of video, this clip. So we'll drag it down to our audio. And then we can do the same thing with the audio to resize it. Hover to the end, just left click and drag all the way. Now our audio is just the same length as our video project, which is a picture slideshow. So we'll play this, see what it looks like. Cool. So that's it. In the next video, I'm going to keep this all up. In the next video, we'll be looking at using different transitions to create like a transition effect between the pictures instead of just like a cut over like this, we'll transition. Hopefully you found this video informative. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you had. And uh, yeah, leave comments below. Uh, tell me what kind of videos you'd like me to make in the future. Super curious to know. I'll catch you on the next video.